Greetings to all farmers and friends. Welcome to Money Agritech. I want us to discuss proper weed management for clean corn or maize field. And the target herbicides or weed killers used. I want us to discuss the simple, common, effective herbicides. Main weeds are not hard to control, but many farmers don't know how to do it. They end up wasting money on bogus chemicals. Others use wrong chemicals. And this, as a consequence, eats into the farmer's profit. You will notice that 90% of farms have so much weeds between knee-high and tasseling. Weeds that could have been eradicated so easily. Some farmers give up on them and decided to leave just the weed to ruin the crop. Weeds compete with the maize crop for nutrients, for water, and for sunlight. This reduces the yield of your crop and also harbors pests and diseases. The first type of weed that we want to talk about is kuch grass. This is the most dangerous weed we have in our maize plantation. It is difficult to control if not done properly. It is also not possible to safely manage it after maize has germinated. It must therefore be eradicated before sowing the seed. Or you must control before germination of maize. To effectively control kuch grass, use herbicides with active ingredient called glyphosate. How to identify glyphosate? On the bottle or the container, pack look for word guarantee which is just next to the trade name or the brand name of the chemical. Read that name indicated and mainly the very common brands are indicated as glyphosate 360 or glyphosate 480. The number or figure indicated after word glyphosate is the amount of active ingredient. In simple language, it is the quantity of the chemical in that herbicide. The rest is carrier material. 
if you choose to use that indicated as glyphosate 480 use 1 liter or 1 kilogram per acre that should be mixed in 80 liters of water if you are calculating per hectare use 2.5 liters per hectare in 200 liters of water If you choose to use glyphosate 360 per acre or in one acre, you need to use 1,340 mils or 1.34 liters mixed in 80 liters of water. Per hectare, it is equivalent to 3,340 mils. That is equivalent to 3.34 liters mixed in 200 liters of water. Small scale farmers who use knapsack sprayers add 250 mils in 20 liters of water. This spray solution can spray 0 0.25 or a quarter of an acre. Those using boom sprayers, there is 200 liter boom for one hectare or 2.5 acres. There is also 400 liter boom for two hectares or five acres. There is 600 liter boom for 3 hectares or 7.5 acres. Those very capable farmers who use the 1,200 liter boom that can be able to cover 6 hectares or 15 acres. Note that glyphosate must be sprayed when weeds are actively growing. I recommend that you add a surfactant or a wetter available in farm input shops. The rate added is 12 mils of surfactant or wetter per acre or 30 mils per hectare. The work of the surfactant is to make the herbicide work better. Glyphosate kills all kuch, including underground smart this is system. A Mexican marigold. If time allows, give it three weeks to completely kill the weeds. Whatever brand you choose to use, as long as it is authentic, the results 
are the same. What you need to note is that the life asset will not kill the bothon oxalis overgrown amaranth it will also not kill overgrown blackjack overgrown mexican marigold and sages it will only manage to suppress them. But it will completely kill kuch grass. It will kill anyo grass weeds. It will kill all anyo and some perennial broad-leaved weeds do second plowing three to four weeks later these plows in soil weeds that may have germinated from seed and act as green manure to maize after that Harrow the farm and sow your maize seed. From sowing to germination to the time when your maize seedling achieves five leaves, within that period you can spray the second herbicide which we commonly call pre to early post-emergent herbicides. We will continue discussing about this second type of herbicides in our next discussion. Thank you and welcome.